Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. Today, we have the brand new Season 12 available as well as the Battle Pass. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the brand new stuff available today. All right, first thing you see as you log in, Season 12 Battle Pass. Uh, Going Dark is available. You guys can see Urban Tracker, Ghost, as well as I think it's Captain Price. And I don't know what the guy on the back, but you can go ahead and buy that. Flickering Shadow, Laser Focus, uh, Recon, as well as DLQ Shadow. We'll take a look at that. Season 12 Merch is here. Um, I don't know exactly what there is, but we'll take a look at everything before we go to the Battle Pass. First thing we want to check is the store. Taking a look at the crate. Brand new crate available. You can get all these cool glowing green a samurai skin that's kind of cool not gonna lie pretty nifty the knife is pretty cool and uh the pistol whatevs and that deal it, it looks nice but i'm not gonna be using it so i might do one pull for you guys just to show it to you guys if we have any credits left i might spend a little bit on the battle pass today we have the going dark 2 wow that's nice i only really like the uh, rune so we might do a few pulls of that that's actually pretty cool uh, under that nothing crazy bundle nothing that i see with wild credit store update we have the bug spray right here. We have the amp available. You can get a GKS bug spray. You can get the outlaw, a PW, SMRS, the knife. A lot of new stuff here, actually. Um, I'm surprised I can buy a lot of these. No new perks. So that kind of sucks, but whatever it is. What it is, I believe Thermite might be in, but whatever. We can get the amp if you guys want to take it. I don't have it. So that's actually a pretty good option. Um, and then under that, there's no look there's anything else here. Let's go take a look at the events real quick. A lot of new featured events. You can get a brand new skin. You get a camera off skin for free. Seems like it's going to be a going dark playlist kind of vibe. So that's kind of cool. You can get a XP card as well. Surviving Alcatraz. They brought back Alcatraz. So that's actually really nice. You get an M4. Under that, nothing crazy. I'm actually very excited about that. I kind of want to know how to get that skin. That skin on the screen looks pretty sick. Seasonal. You can get the Manowar. Another Manowar skin. Bruh, they're giving us Manowar skin skill. Or DRH skin. Actually, that's really cool. And wow, another DRH skin. Two DRH skin in one. That's kind of weird in my opinion. But the Manowar Dark Flame looks kind of nifty. I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks clean. It's very similar to uh, that thing I saw, but whatever. You can get the AK117 Bronze Arrow. Whatever. Not that crazy. And then with the daily login. Okay, that's the daily login. Scout 2. About freaking time. We barely got any Scout 2 skin. And the fact that we do have a Scout 2 skin now, I am. Super excited about that. So nice. We can get the Scout 2 skin. That's really, really sick. Um, let's go ahead and check out the Battle Pass. I am going to have this open for you guys. Going Dark. Price. Dead of the Night. I love that. Type 25. Infiltrate. Urban Tracker. All right. One of the fan favorites in here. Love to see that. We got the K in Black and Gold. The QQ9. We're getting Black and Gold skins? What? HBR Black and Gold? Honestly, the Gold one's basically HBR Black and Gold, but whatever. It'd be like that. Ghost Jawbone. Okay, we're getting a, a AGR skin. We get the um, Megalith Melican. All right, that's cool. Okay, we got Jawbone, not a ghost skin. Or is it jo Ghost Jawbone? Eh, whatever. Let's, go, let's take a look at this. Uh, so we might just level up until we get the... Because um, I honestly just want to see how the gun looks like. What's it called? The new, the new gun. See what you can get from it. And the, oh, you get the HBR right off the bat. So that's actually kind of cool. So we can actually take a look right off the bat to see what you can unlock. So if you go and buy like, the, the battle pass right off the bat, you get the gold HBR. You get this little going dark thing. That's kind of really nice. I love going dark. It's one of my favorite um, kind of theme. You get a free AK. That's kind of cool. We'll take a look at the stuff that you can unlock. Eight, you got a free car skin. You get the Type 25, which is actually pretty nice. Not going to lie. Pretty nice. At level 10. Urban Tracker at level 12. That's pretty good. You get a free Ballistic Shield. Nice. Ballistic Shield is out. That's kind of cool. Level 14. You get these cool icons. I actually love that. You unlock this. I don't know what this uh, emote is called, but get loose. Get loose at level 15. You get a free Scout. You get the QQ9 Black and Gold at level 20. At 21, you get the new gun. I'm actually excited. We can probably take a look how the Damascus looks early. We'll probably be grinding it a little bit later today just to try to get the... Um, the gold and the Damascus. We get the med kit here. You get the price and level 30. You got a trip mine, free trip mine skin. Always nice to get that. You get a free uh, locust skin. Nice. You get a free, uh, I call this trip mine. This is a trophy system. We got a free trip mine though. We do actually. You get a free um, charm. Nice. You get the KN black and gold at level 40. That's what we get. We get a 
BY15 skin. All right, whatever. I don't care anymore about shotguns, whatever. We're not going to talk about it. We have the credits you can get. And then at level 50, you will be unlocking the free ICR. You will get also the, this skin looks really cool though. The Velikin Megalith. You can get the free, what is this? Biako. I don't really like these skins, but the, the mag is actually really nice. So that's actually really cool when you get this and this and that. So cool. Check the comics to see what it looks kind of cool. I'm not, I'm not going to read it. Mara's in there, Mara. Okay, so that's kind of nice. It's kind of based on like we see characters from the Cold War. I'm not gonna read because some swears in there, but we are gonna buy the battle pass. Let's go ahead and buy the premium one. I will buy this one because I do want to get a few levels and then we're gonna buy until we're level 20, I believe. The reason I'm not buying the whole entire battle pass, I find myself actually able to grind it out and because I play so much, I get it in within like two days. So we do get Ghost Jawbone, pretty nice. We do get the black and gold HBR, I believe. Actually, really, really clean as well. I actually very excited to see how the iron sight looks on this because the one of the downside of the um, HBR is the what you call it, the iron sight. So, and we got the Type 25. I actually love how this looks. And then we get the Scout Go by Night. I love this style. Red and black is just such a clean look. We get the Karambit Wetworks. Um, free Karambit essentially, which is nice. I think everybody's gonna want to buy this battle pass. This is actually probably the, the best battle pass I have ever seen so far. So we're gonna go ahead and buy until level 21. Um, I am not gonna buy the entire battle pass. I usually think if you play like me, if you're a YouTuber, it's way better to just go ahead and buy, you know, until what you really want to get. But you can also just grind. Since I play every single day, almost six, seven hours. It's just not worth it for me, personally speaking. Um, however, let's just see what else I could have got. I wanted to buy a little bit of extra. I can go all the way to price to get 30, but honestly, I'm not going to buy the entire battle pass. However, I will do one more thing in store just to see if we can finish this off with a decent crate. Now, nah, we're not even going to bother with the crate, to be honest with you guys. Maybe I'll do one pull, but I don't think it's even, um, you know what we will do? Yeah, we'll do, you know, we'll do one pull. I'm probably not going to get it in the one pull. We'll do that in a couple going dart. And that way it'll be pretty solid. We did get the M4 LMG. What a bait. I've never been so baited in my life. And we got the knife radar. It's actually really cool. But it's a knife skin. So, can't, I, I mean, it is what it is. This rune skin is probably one of my favorite skins out there. So we'll do like one or two skins. Pull if we get it. We're lucky. If not, it'd be like that somewhat. Sometimes we'll do another one here. Uh, yeah, we're going to have about 2,000 crests left. And nothing good there. Can't really complain. I did get insane luck last time we did this. So let's go ahead and put some of these stuff on our loadouts. We're going to hop into like a bot game so you guys can see how they look first. First thing we're going to check is the Damascus A. Uh, what's it called? AGR? I, I think I called it HGR last time. That, wow. That's no recoil. What the heck? I built it to have no recoil. That's crazy. That's insane, chat. Well, if you go like lateral recoil control. It has like no recoil. That's gonna be kind of insane. But as you guys see, you reload. Look at that. Looks pretty good. HBR black and gold. The iron sights are it's still kind of bulky comparison, in my opinion. As you can see, still a lot of things. I'm, it might be a little bit thinner. We'll just check in a second. Yeah, in comparison, they're both they're both not good. I think the other one might be a little bit better, but overall, not the greatest. But the skin itself looked really, really clean. Let's just take a look at it one more time. Yeah, as you guys can see, it's actually not that great in game, honestly. Like it doesn't the gold is not even that shiny, but it is clean gold. It's not like wavy or anything like that. And like I said, the irons are kind of bulky. Let's go ahead and switch QQ9. Alright, this is the base gold QQ9. You can see the ADS is this big circle, kind of chunky a little bit on the middle, but I remember that pretty thin overall. So we're gonna compare it to the other one. Alright, first glance, um, it's actually pretty nice. I mean, though the gold is not that great on this. The iron sight is probably not my favorite just because it does have like the two little thing like this or horse blinders as I call them. But other than that, it's uh it's okay iron sight. I'd much rather use like the meltdown one or even the other epic one. But it is black and gold, so you gotta be happy about getting a black and gold skin. So finally we're gonna go do the type 25. Alright, so the type 25 has probably the worst iron sight in the game. It's really thick, it has like the double circle, so it makes it really annoying and very obstructing. You don't see it that much. So if this iron sight is better than even maybe the geometry, it looks like it might be a little bit better. But again, it still has the um, the big circle, but it, it is slightly better. Not as good as geometry, in my opinion, but better than the base one. But you can see this is how the green one looks. You can reload as well. I forgot to reload for the other one, but I think you guys will be fine. Overall, not that bad, not that terrible. Um, I know you guys couldn't really see the skin that I put, but I don't really think it's a big issue. All right, so I was going to hop into the game, but I decided we should go onto the training to compare both mags. 
um, from what we tested earlier today with Bobby. So this is the one with the uh, the AR mag. You guys can see the damage, 27, 24 to leg. It looked like 25 in game, but it shows 24, which is, it would have been insane, but I think it is, I think we'll be fine. Oh, just gotta make sure my thing doesn't crash. But yeah, 27 to the chest, headshot's probably like 29, so not a, a great multiplier, 24, but that's huge. So the close range to the hand, including the hand, oh, the hand's 27, so that's actually really good too. And then same thing, you have the leg multiplier. I find it weird that it's a leg multiplier. The recoil is really manageable. You can see it's almost no recoil, that's crazy. I feel like with the marksman barrel, you have like no recoil and you can laser people up to 20 meters. Like watch this, that's crazy, that's crazy. Look at that. Like after the first, how many shots is that? Let's see, let's check, let's compare. After 11 shots, it started going to the side. So look at that, that's insane. I'm not gonna control it, but yeah, it's basically only vertical without like a little bit sway, but that's that's pretty insane. And then we'll check the damage at 40 because we already kind of checked it. 20 damage, yeah. 20 and 18, that's kind of crazy. And then leg damage 16. We're gonna compare it to the regular one. The idea is fast. Okay, so we're gonna be at five meters. 25 damage close range. Uh, um, all right. Let's see the mid range. 25 damage mid range. Da huh? Um, apparently the recoil control is supposed to be a lot better, but I feel like the recoil pattern was a lot easier on the other one. That's it. That's 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 insane. Okay, maybe the SMG version of this is the best way to build it. All right, let's just take a quick look at how Urban Tracker looks. I was going to actually do some gameplay, but you know what? We're just going to go ahead and end the video. I don't want this to be too long. Matter of fact, we're probably going to be able to do a stream a little bit later and try out the gun, give you guys my optimal build, but it does seem to be pretty insane right now. And then we have the ghost right now. So I think the SMG might be better than the AR. The AR looked really good, but I think the SMG will be a lot better, especially with the damage on that. I don't have the other two skins, so you guys will not be able to see it, but looks pretty good and looks pretty fantastic. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this season's battle pass as well as all the new events. Honestly, I think the season battle pass is probably the best of all time. It is so good with all the variety of stuff you get. A bunch of gun skins, a bunch of character skin, black and gold skin is absolutely insane. Honestly, should you buy the entire battle pass? Probably not. You can probably grind it out over the season. However, if you do really, really want to get this AGR skin, I would probably recommend grinding for it or right away just buy those the premium battle pass. You will get a lot of points from the events, but let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out to you guys next time. Kill it.